Good morning and welcome. My great mentor, Cuban painter Antonio Vidal, introduced me at a young age to the world of a great writer, Rainer Maria Rilke. Speaking of love, Rainer Maria Rilke says that it consists of two solitudes greeting each other, protecting each other, and then discover. Islands and Icelanders, like lovers, are entities of solitude, but archipelagos are nature creation of collective love. We are in a time in which we need collective love. In thinking of boundaries, I imagine islands as a boundaryless place. Only when you are in the age and looking to the other side, you have a sense that there, maybe, is a border. But the air itself, our planet, is an empty, tiny, round since borderless. We create ways to construct false ideas of boundaries and borders. Love is borderless. When I think of candor, I want to imagine a relation between South and North in which the North embraced the South as a lover. It tried to understand it, protect it, embrace it, and discover itself when that encounter. When I'm thinking of islands and archipelagos, I am thinking of the island of the South. For instance, the one that I grew up, the Caribbean. In that, we always go north. We always try to go north in desperate journey. Exile, we know, is never voluntary. People move north in search of love. And perhaps in our opportunity to construct collective future, the South welcome the north in the search for love and candor. The image that you are seeing are few takes from the town that I was born, a sugarcane plantation in the province of Matanzas, in the region of Colón, in the municipality of Manguito, and the town is La Vega. Raine Maria Rilke said too that the only journey is the journey within, but also because geography, economics, politics, and social construct, we need to take journeys that are outside oneself. In my understanding and approach as an artist, or trying to construct narrative that talk about the riveting pain and the desperation that made people forced or involuntarily, most of the time, to go north, I go back to my ancestral line. We, the people of darker tone, some of us came here by forced migration. It was not voluntary. But in thinking of the future and the possibility of collective future, I imagine a world borderless, like our universe. There are no corner, harsh corner of age in our universe. It's an entity of a vast of energy in which we may be looking for our better self could really find the opportunity of connectors and connectness through love. So love is what sustained me, and love is what I want to show. Now I'm going to show you a small video uh, that will take six minutes, in which I talk again about borders and borderless. We could play the video. I know, it's hard. So Yema ya se... Padre, Hijo y Espíritu Santo. Yemaya Asesu. Yemaya Melewo. Ashe. There is more water than there. And Yemaya drain the water. We celebrate Kathy, mother of all of us, who kicked the door and let the people in. Yemaya, mother of all of us, celebrate this building. Celebrate this day. Today, April 27, year 2014.
So in that piece, the border is the institutional border that we women of color, black women, brown women, sometimes encounter. We see the so art this part institution. Is mm -hmm. Excuse me. Oh my goodness, they are already playing. Oh, 
so I'm going to stop her there. And, and sister of Yemaya, he listen. Oh, Shun, Diosa de la dulzura y del amor. Oh, Shun, dueña de la fertilidad y del placer. Hermana. So I saw that this piece could uh, conclude my presentation and uh, spark as well not only about the relation of North and South and our own intent for a much uh, balanced uh, relation of war. And today, I call all of you to open your heart, to love, to love each other. And in this time of fractures and divisiveness, I believe love could guide all of us. Thank you.